Well, to discuss that a bit further, and I join Mr. Franklin Lam, who is a political analyst, and he's joining us live now from the Syrian capital, Damascus. Mr. Lam, as always, thanks a lot for joining us. Now, how do you, how do you react to Israel's reaction at all this? Uh, was it essentially to be expected at this point? Well, uh, I don't have much of a reaction. I think that the uh, international community, uh, which is, uh, is so pleased with uh, the um, P5 plus one achievements in uh, Geneva, I mean, here in Damascus, you can just sense uh, palpable uh, relief. As I imagine from uh, Tehran to Texas to Thailand, the global community supports this, the people of uh, America and Iran and the rest. Israel was expected uh, uh, to do this. Israel becomes by the hour, by the hour, more uh, irrelevant. Uh, they and their new uh, Lieberman the other day said they need uh, new allies, and they seem to have it in the Wahhabist uh, regime of Saudi Arabia. No question, those leaders uh, are, are unhappy, but they're both on the uh, wrong side of history, and uh, I'm not uh, at all concerned. Uh, the big question raised uh, at a conference recently in New York was who's going to collapse first, the Wahhabist regime in Saudi Arabia or the Zionist colony leadership uh, in Palestine. So they're on the wrong side of history. They have their own problems. But this is an enormous benefit uh, for all people of goodwill. And uh, the exciting thing is that the dam is broken. We're going to see cultural exchanges again, education exchanges, tourism, visas, and the sanctions at an end. Today, Iran. Hopefully tomorrow, Syria. So uh, it's, a, it's a, uh, an opportunity for a global uh, uh, goodwill. And uh, I think, uh, again, as John Kerry referred to Netanyahu uh, 60, 70 days ago, um, and you remember the term he used. So um, uh, I, 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 we, they'll be largely ignored. I mean, they're, they're just increasingly irrelevant, uh, frankly, uh, in this region. They don't belong here, uh, and they know the uh, 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 time is coming that history is correcting the last uh, injustice of the 19th century colonial enterprise. So uh, uh, again, uh, uh, I, I think very few people are concerned about that. The Americans went through the normal assurances, appeasements. Uh, but even the lobby in America is under pressure now. And, and an individual congressmen like Graham and McCain and the others are being asked, why do you want another war for Israel? Why do you want to send American boys and women uh, uh, to die once more? The American people don't want it. And I think that Congress, we're going to see a change as the stock of Obama, to his credit, rises. They wanted war in Syria. They didn't get it, the, the neocons. They wanted war uh, American against Iran. They didn't get it. And I think uh, Obama's uh, headed for a good place in history if he maintains this and follows through and gets rid of those sanctions and uh, works out the details, because the Iranians obviously have a very competent delegation. And I, I've heard from Washington that there was great esprit, personal uh, uh, appreciation of one another, connections. As, as every American who's been to Iran knows, there's this natural affinity. So I'm, uh, I think there's a time of rejoicing. We have to be realistic. We've got to watch for pitfalls. We've got to watch the Zionists uh, in, case, in case they try to torpedo this militarily. But for the rest of us, uh, it's a historic day. Right, Mr. Lam, so then, you know, as you say, you know, Israel is irrelevant and its opinion is irrelevant at this point in this region, as well as the fact that, you know, the Israeli lobby is under pressure to avoid war in, in the United States. But going forward then, um, you know, why then do you think Israel is angry at this, considering it must have known about this pressure and the fact that it is becoming more irrelevant in the region? Why did it not just sign up for a peaceful resolution? Well, I think a couple of factors. One is they're, they're leveraging this uh, to get more out of the American taxpayer. You know, today and every day of the year, we give Israel $8.7 million a day, nearly uh, everything considered close to $7 billion a year. Uh, they want to play the uh, aggrieved party here, and they want to go to the White House and the lobby, and they're going to seek concessions. Um, and uh, I, I think that uh, the, the, the other factor here is that they, they realize that their enterprise is not uh, sustainable. 
and they're going to end up, those Jews who seek to stay in Palestine, in a, in, a, in a country that has one person, one vote, no chosen people, no religious preferences, and I think that's the direction that Palestine uh, is heading, uh, and the collapse of the Zionist regime. So I think uh, uh, they're lamenting, but even the Israeli uh, public, by a recent poll, disagrees with Lieberman and Netanyahu uh, on this. Okay, we'll leave it there for now, but of course we do appreciate your insight as always. That was Mr. Franklin, that political pleasure. analyst, My speaking pleasure. to us live from the Syrian capital.